Hello, my name is Kweku, I'm a pharmacist. In today's brief video, I'm gonna be answering a question that I've been getting uh, quite often these past couple of weeks. That is how to switch from one GLP-1 agonist to another. That is how to switch from say Ozempic to Monjaro or maybe to switch from Trilicity to Ozempic or even Ribelsus, which is the pill form to Ozempic. I found some guidelines printed in the National Library of Medicine and I thought I would share it with you. Now, two things about these guidelines that I want to stress before I delve any further. Number one is that you need to really follow your specific instructions that have been given to you by your own personal doctor. Situations may vary, your individual circumstances may be different. So as much as possible, do follow exactly what your doctor has told you. Number two, these guidelines came out before Monjaro was approved. And Monjaro, as of the time of recording this video, has only been out a couple of months. So while the guidelines don't specifically mention Monjaro, it is worth noting that Monjaro is very similar and therefore the guidelines can be extrapolated to include Monjaro or Tezapatite as it is known by its chemical name. Now I did check out the website of the manufacturer for Monjaro to see if they had any specific recommendations for switching from another medication, say Ozempic, to something like Monjaro. And their website stated that as of the time of recording this video, the company hadn't sponsored any studies to show or to provide any guidelines as to how to switch from that medication under a different GLP-1 to Tezapatite. They, however, advised healthcare professionals, doctors, pharmacists to provide advice based on the pharmacokinetics and the pharmacodynamics of the medications involved and to use their clinical judgment. So I believe that these guidelines that I'm going to give you may help you if your doctor hasn't provided specific directions for you. Now, with respect to the specific guidelines, I'm going to put this flowchart on your screen and we can go along or we can follow through it. Now, on your screen now, you see this flowchart. What I want you to be concentrating on now is on the left-hand side. So on the left-hand side, you of course, you what you begin with is you decide to switch from one GLP-1 agonist to another. Um, you obviously will have to discontinue the old one before you start a new one. That's pretty, that's a given. And then what you want to do is that on this left side here, you see that they have something saying you switch from QD or BID. Now, QED and BID is just pharmaceutical um, short term for either daily or twice daily. So if you're switching from a medication where you're taking it a daily or twice daily, so for example, something like Ribelsus or Victoza, and you're switching to one that you're taking every week. QW is every week. So I think that is the most um, popular one these days. So say, for example, Ribelsus or Victoza to say Ozempic or Manjaro. The recommendation is that you administer the first dose the following day after discontinuation. So in other words, if it is from Ribelsus to Ozempic, you, dis you continue the Ribelsus on a Sunday, you start the Ozempic on the Monday. Or if it's Victoza to Trilicity, you, dis you, di you discontinue the Victoza on a Sunday, you start your Trilicity the next day. Now, there are a few recommendations that they make here. That is, if you're switching because of side effects, so for example, you're having gastrointestinal side effects and you want to make the switch, they do recommend that you wait for the symptoms or the side effects from the old medication to resolve before you start the new one. They also recommend that when you're starting the new one, you start at the lowest possible dose. And also with the new dose, they do recommend that you consider a lower maintenance dose. So for example, if the recommended dose is say one milligram to be used as maintenance, they do recommend you maintaining yourself. Of course, you and your doctor will have to agree on this. Maintaining yourself at a slightly lower dose than what is recommended as the maintenance dose, just to avoid developing those side effects that the old medication caused you to discontinue in the first place. Now, if you focus on the right side of the table, which is the most popular one, this is what people are switching to these days. That is from Ozempic to say Monjaro. That is, you're taking it once weekly. So you see here, it's once weekly. You're switching to something that you're going to take once weekly also. So for example, switching from Ozempic or Trilicity to Monjaro, or even maybe from Trilicity to Ozempic. The first dose is to be administered seven days after the discontinuation of the old medication. So if you discontinue, say, your Ozempic on a Sunday, the recommended starting for the other new medication, if it may be Manjaro or anything else, should be uh, the Sunday of the following week. In other words, when you would have next taken your dose of the old medication, that is when you will start the new medication. Now, once you're able to make the switch successfully and there are no side effects, then your doctor can start titrating upward to the maintenance dose that is recommended. Short video, truly hope you found some value in it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and stay blessed. Catch you on the next video.